Hey there, family. Welcome back. We are joined today by my absolutely adorable 12-year-old Becca, who um, saw this Manny that I did. Uh, gosh, it was a couple of weeks ago, but you guys saw it too. I didn't film it, and um, not that some of you guys were upset. This is the Manny that I did that you saw, but some of you were like, did you film it? I hope you filmed it. And I'm like, well, <laughs> no. But Becca actually saw the Manny that I did, and she was like, I want that right now. So I'm like, all right, and I'll film it. <laughs> totally taking advantage of the opportunity. Um, I did things a little bit different with her instead of using the white because she she's a, she's a very white person. Um, she gravitates towards whites. Almost every mani she does has some sort of element of white in it. So I used a custom pink that I mixed up for her. Um, I don't know, it kind of resembles The Simple Life by Kira Sky. It's actually a mixture of white and dark pink by Kiara Sky. Um, and it made this really pretty, pretty pink color. So I'm using that in lieu of the white that I used on myself. But I am using the same um, Dipalicious glitter. And I'll make sure I link the Dipalicious glitter for you in the description box. I cannot link the pink because I made that. <laughs> I can leave you guys instructions on how I made it, but that's, that's pretty much the best I can do for you guys at this point. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this application for a little bit. While I am doing that, um, definitely drop me a comment and let me know if there's anything that you guys uh, wanna see more of, less of, something new and different you want me to try out. I happen to very much enjoy being your guinea pig. So um, if there's anything that you guys would like to see me test out or try, or if there's any crazy nail hacks that you see flying around, I have seen a bunch. Um, I've seen some crazy extensions with like straws, you know, like drinking straws. And I don't know, that's, I don't know if I would ever do that. <laughs> Just to be honest, I don't, I'm not, I don't know if I want to do extensions and I certainly don't know if I want to do them with straws. And my, uh, my 12 year old, I don't know if you guys, if you, your moms, you probably have heard this term, but she's very visco. You know, she's all about the hydro flask and the scrunchies and saving the sea turtles and she doesn't like when I use plastic straws, so that may be an issue. But if there's anything else that you've seen trending or hacks that you've seen that you want me to test out and show you guys step by step, I am more than happy to do that for you guys. So please leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I'm going to let you guys again. I always say I'm going to leave you and then I don't. <laughs> I'm a big fat liar. I'm going to let you guys finish watching me do the pink on my daughter's nails. And I'll come back and I'll show you how I do the chunky glitter. I know you guys have seen me do a couple of chunky glitter applications before, but I will, um, I'll show you guys how I do it on her and kind of a, a different method that I have tried um, and found works really, really well for a chunky glitter application. So stay with me for a little bit and I'll be right back and we'll get into some chunky glitter. So I'll be right back.
Okay, so this is the glitter that I used on my nails that I'm gonna use on her nails. It's by Dipalicious. It's called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, the owner of Dipalicious was kind enough to send me this glitter um, along with the colors she sent over to do the Dipness video. And the minute I saw it, I fell in love. I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait to use this chunky glitter. And I did. <laughs> I was so excited. It's so unbelievably gorgeous. You guys saw it on me. You're going to see it on her. Um, it's amazing. So I didn't have any cupcake liners, and that's usually what I would want to use. But instead of dipping her nail and my nail, I did this the same way on myself. I kind of laid it into the pot of dip powder. And I find that this technique, um, I think the first time I saw it was on Corgi's Wine and Nails with Miranda. And... Um, I'm like, what kind of crazy nonsense is this girl doing with cupcake liners? And then I tried it and I was like, you know what? She's got something here. <laughs> so shout out to you, Miss Miranda. Thank you very much for inspiring me to try this. The glitters lay very, very flat on your nail when you lay your finger down into it or your nail down into it, as opposed to dipping and then the glitters are kind of just sticking up everywhere. So um, it works very much well if you use the cupcake liners. It works pretty well if you do it the way I just did it with just laying it into the jar. Um, so either way, but definitely lay your finger upside down flat with the chunky glitters. It's gonna make your life way, way easier. And I also have another video coming up um, in the near future of another chunky glitter that I used on myself. It's a different video. Um, I used a stamping plate to do some marble nails, which is an experience. And honestly, I really, really loved it. So you'll see that here coming up um, in the next upload, maybe my the one after that. I don't know, very soon. Um, you'll see me, how I use the cupcake liners to do it, and it's so easy. So I did her two nails with the um, chunky glitter. And you can see here that I do pat it down a little bit. You don't really need to do that a whole lot if you're laying your finger flat into the jar or the cupcake liner, but I do push them down a little just to make sure they're all kind of laying flat. And I am gonna go over and do, the, do a second coat. There are some chunky glitters you don't need to do this with. Matter of fact, the next chunky glitter video that I do, it was a one coater and that's all I needed for full coverage. Um, this particular powder was a little bit more sheer, so I did the two, but you know, it depends on, on your on your glitter and your preference, really. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let you guys uh, watch me finish up the second coat of her, and then you're gonna see me do an ombre with the chunky glitter. Um, and I know you guys have seen this on me, so you're gonna see it on her too. So stick around, you're gonna um, watch me do all this fun stuff and I will be right back. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like every time I do a glitter ombre on my daughter, that happens. She's now banned from any more glitter ombres. You'll be happy to know that not only did I press on, but I did um, manage to salvage a very big majority of uh, the glitter powder. I was fortunate enough to be working over a paper towel, so I just kind of 
funneled it all back into the jar and I saved as much as I could. But I I damn near cried. <laughs> I was so sad. I'm like, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> no more glitter ombres for Miss Rebecca. Yeah, I'm just spilling everything. Everything. It's it's you guys ever have one of those days where you just can't help but knock everything over in your path? I'm like, I feel like a bull in a china shop today. I don't I don't understand. So you guys have seen um, a little bit of how I do this glitter ombre. I really just applied the base, like my normal tap tap ombre, I just very gently tapped over the glitter on the free edge of the nail. That's where she wanted it. You can do the cuticle area. You can do it the other way around on the free edge. And then I'm using my glitter clear. And I do have a separate glitter clear just because I don't like to cross contaminate glitters and non glitters. Um, so then I, I fill in the space you know, towards the cuticle where she doesn't have the glitter with the clear. Just so everything is kind of flush and, you know, the glitter is not raised a whole lot. So that's what you see me doing there. I'm going to press on here and I'm going to let you watch. I just wanted to jump in and share the horror <laughs> with you guys. Sorry, I had to make you watch that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've encapsulated with the clear. I've gone ahead and activated, let it dry for a few minutes. So now we can get into the filing and shaping, which you guys have seen me do a million times. So while I am filing and shaping, I wanted to just chat with you and maybe get some input on something I have planned coming up. I have another collab um, that I am doing with a couple of the Ditmas girls and a couple of um, new people. And the theme of this collab since we're going into, you know, or new year, by the time this uploads may already be the new year. <laughs> so, um, the collab is called dipping through the decades and each of us have chosen a specific decade, um, in which to do some sort of crazy Manny. I have chosen the 1980s. I'm a big fan of everything eighties. I was born in the eighties. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be super fun and I'm super excited. So I want you guys to give me some input on what you might want to see me do for this 1980s themed Manny. Now my plan, my plan <laughs> is to do something pretty out there and, and a little nutty. I want to use some neons. I want to use some animal print, maybe some like denim type style. So definitely comment down below and let me know if you have any ideas for my 80s themed Manny. And also if you have any other ideas, um, not just for collabs. I mean, I'll always take collab ideas. And if you want to collab with me, I would love to. So let me know. Um, but if you have any ideas for other Manny's you want me to do or things you want me to see, I know I'm being very repetitive because I ask you guys this all the time. But like I've told you before, I enjoy putting out content that you guys want. You know, this is fun for me, regardless of what I'm doing. I want it to be fun for you too. So let me know what you guys prefer to see or not see for that matter, if I'm aggravating the heck out of you. 
<laughs> please tell me that too. And I'll be like, I'm sorry, I will never do that again. But I won't promise because I don't know. I'm kind of an asshole like that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. So now I'm going to um, get into the e-filing of my little one's nails. And I, I do the same thing on her that I do on myself, that I do on my, my stepdaughter who's 21. I do the same filing routine, the same e-filing routine. Obviously, I shape my stepdaughter's nails um, differently than I shape hers on my own because she's got very long nails and she likes them coffiny. Um, but this is nothing out of the norm. I will be trying out some different e-file bits. Not that I have anything to complain about. I love the bits that I have. But, you know, if there's something better out there, um, I'm going to find it and I'm going to try it. So, um, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any suggestions or ideas. I'm going to let you guys watch me e-file her up and I'll come back with you guys here in just a bit. That's right, I put activator on her. <laughs> Can anyone guess why? Why, because I am not using gel top coat, I am using dip top coat for her. I was gonna do some sort of little experiment and see if one lasted better on her than another. I always use gel top coat on her and actually she gets pretty good wear out of her nails. I, I do her nails typically every um, 10 to 14 days, give or take, depending on what we have going on that week. Um, and she's, I mean, she's 12, but she's, she's not like, she doesn't play sports or anything. I mean, she's in the band and, you know, 
does her school work, so it's not like she's super active. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see if it would make a difference or if one lasted better than the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, my Sparkle & Co system that I picked up for Black Friday. I haven't tried their liquids ever, um, so I wanted to check them out and see how they did. So that's what I'm using. I'm using the uh, Sparkle & Co dip top coat. So there it is. So we're gonna see how it goes. Um, I can tell you right now, because as I'm doing this voiceover, I've been super lazy. I don't know, I've got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> I just finished my classes, so I am, uh, by the time this uploads, actually, I'll probably be back in school. But I did finish up all my classes for the semester, um, so I had some time to play with some other stuff, and she did get, she's still wearing this Manny, actually. It's been about, I don't know, I want to say a week, a week and a half. She's got one little chip on one of her nails, but I don't think that was on the fault of the the dip top coat. I think, you know, just being a child and doing weird child things. So I am going to go ahead and uh, finish up doing her um, dip top coat, and I will come back and let you know any final thoughts that I have. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back.
So I went ahead and let the um, dip top coat dry for a good like five minutes just to make sure it was totally dry. And it was, and everything was fine. You guys saw me. <laughs> I did top coat a cat hair into our nails, so I had to buff it off and then reapply it. I didn't want to make you guys sit through all of that again. I uh, just wanted to let you know what I was doing. Now I'm going ahead and I'm putting on my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil, which she loves so much. She was pretty much obsessed with the cotton candy one, so she uses that one all the time. She loves it. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think of the Manny? I think it's um, pretty darn close to the one that I did on my own nails. So I, I'm glad I got the opportunity to do it on her and share it with you. And let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, you know, just throw, whatever you feel like talking about, throw it in the comments. If you want to tell me a story or tell me something about yourself, throw that in the comments too, because I love connecting with you guys. I love chit-chatting with you guys. Um, I know I've been bad about leaving my Instagram handle. I will leave it in my description box. So if you need anything at all, DM me. Um, I will see you guys in the next vid. Love you, bye.